Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to The Reading Gorilla and happy April Fools! And of course, this is the second book I'm going to introduce as part of the series of 19 books to get you through COVID-19. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And of course, um, yeah, I'm not coughing just by the way. I'm going to recommend you a really entertaining book, which is why I'm dressed up to the nice today. And, and I thought it would be nice to have a theme alongside the artist that I'm going to introduce. I say artist because it's not just an author and is better known for his music. He is Sir Elton John and the book is called Me. This is his autobiography and it's truly an amazing read. It's not just entertaining and it's also inspiring. And I believe for any artist or entertainers, we would have that dream, or rather we would start out with that dream that we can actually craft a big name for ourselves and make it on a global stage. And this is someone who did. And in fact, he did it so big that he got knighted and his albums were top charts. Every single success that the rock and roll or music artist can dream of. So we follow Elton John's footsteps to when he was young. So he grew up in a sort of like an average or even below average financially kind of family. And his parents weren't exactly happy about their marriage. It was on the rocks. They were getting in and out of their marriage. And somehow Elton John did some odd jobs about sorting records. He just loved to be around music. And gradually he started his music journey by performing in pubs. And this was the worst of conditions. He was describing how people would just start a fight in the pub and he just throw bottles and it comes crashing down and he just had to hide behind his piano and just ran out the window. And after paying his dues and playing these terrible pub gigs and of course also recording terrible albums for random bands, he finally approached a producer from a major record company and he said that he wanted to become an artist of his own. So in short, the producer rejected him and just passed him some random lyrics from some random lyricists that he received from and that turned out to be Bernie and turned out to be his lifelong songwriting partner. And they hit their first success, an album that had kind of a good response. So the producer actually advised them to go over to the US because he finds that there's a bigger market over there that's when they can propel and shoot right up to fame. And he was absolutely right when Elton John was wrong. And they went over to the US, they became a big hit almost immediately. Just skyrocketed Elton John all the way to fame. Big artists were asking for collaborations to join them on tours. And it was just massively successful for him and his team. Now interestingly, at this point of time, Elton John was still a virgin. So the sex, drugs and rock and roll came a little bit late for him, but when it came, it came in full blast. Following that, he started to explore his sexuality, realised he was gay, and on top of that, he started to host and join a lot of parties, started binge drinking, and eventually he got addicted to drugs. What really touches my heart about this book is the level of excruciating amount of honesty and details that's in there. It really paints quite a picture. To cut the story short, he had an intervention, so he went for rehab and eventually recovered from all this addiction that he had. And it was a time in the society where AIDS were new, so many of his friends were actually um, contracting AIDS and dying from AIDS, which is why he also set up an AIDS foundation under his name and continued to contribute to it actively by playing benefit gigs, by getting his superstar friends to lend their voices to the AIDS foundation as well. Now just a word of caution, when you're reading this book, time will really fly past. It's really entertaining reading about all the sex, drugs and rock and roll. Now aside from all this entertainment value, my biggest takeaway from this book is how to be human. He has his good, he has his bad and his ugly. In fact, some parts are really, really ugly. But he acknowledges and he accepts all of this. And this is what makes us human. I'm only through being aware and acknowledging and living with all these dimensions that we have that we can truly become who we truly deserve to be. So I highly recommend you to pick up this book, Me by Elton John, whether it's the digital copy or you like a paperback version. Thank you so much for watching this. And of course, if you enjoy my book reviews, please subscribe to The Reading Gorilla on YouTube as well as follow us on Instagram and share with your friends as well. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>